And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. C and Jewel. Just Jewel here at AK. It's another full lineup this week of knives from Kaiser. We Civivi. PMP knives. And special Spider Co. appearances. Wow, you were right on top of that, weren't you? Yeah. That yeah. is amazing. I know. All right. Just the way I like my episodes, full of knives. Yeah, so on that note, we're going to be starting with the Kaiser Shark Tooth. Yes, wow. people. I know. I'm excited, too. As soon as I pull it out of this very firmly grasped plastic here. Hey. All right. You got to keep your shark caged. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Like your ball bearings. Here okay. we go. <laughs> go ahead. This is a fixed blade full of sharp fun, my friends. Yep. The Kaiser Shark Tooth is 5 inch overall. With a drop point blade that's 2.625 inch with a plain cutting edge of about 2.3 inches. The blade is made of bowler N690 steel, available in satin finish or black stone wash. Handle is either green G10 or black carbon fiber. There is a large finger choil right here and deep finger choil for great control when used as an EDC or self defense tool. Finally, this fixed blade also has a linear hole. A cleaning cloth right here, people. Mm -hmm. What? And a black belt sheath. That extent. For on the go carry. Yeah. yeah. And at only 2.9 ounces, it's definitely no jaws in your pack or on your boat. There it is. And either option is just $55 <sighs> at LendingKnife.com. All right. I'm going to let you go first. All right. You're I can sure. go first. Well, I got to be honest with you. I like the green one better. So do I. But there is one little thing I've noticed about this. When I want to hold it, I kind of start like this for some reason. It's probably just me, which is probably a bad idea. Just you. Just me. So just I like how you hold it. I like this little piece right here to keep your thumb. Yeah, you can do it like that. I kind of like it like this, though. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get up there too, can't you? Uh huh. And then, hold on. You're going to have to show me. What's reverse grip on this? That one? Yeah, I'm not sure you really go that route, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I can work it. All right, so I'm going to set mine down now. All right, I know I said that the Spyderco Poochie was a bit gimmicky. And that it was absolutely ridiculous. However, I like this one. Yeah, it's a bit of a novelty. But, you know, I would carry this around and cut things. No lie, I actually, I, I have the green one. I bought it. And Wendy bought the carbon fiber one. Did she really? Mm-hmm. They're just so unique. I mean, come on. It's it's in the shape of a shark. You're still going to be able to cut with it. It's a good steal for the price. And I just don't see why you wouldn't get one. And it maybe it's a touch, a touch small. But I can deal because I like the design and it isn't $200. Come on. And with that, I've said my piece. So. Well, hey, you know what? Mm. It must be great. Uh-huh. Because, uh... If Wendy came off of money? Oh, if Wendy came off of money, then you know it's worth it, right? Yeah, no doubt. Really? Like the group? So, we're ready to move on to the next knife, which is the Civivi Perf. Perf, that's an interesting Seems name. like it's not really, it's perforated, you know? Yeah, or know. perfect. <gasps> perfect. Uh-huh, so available in two options. There is a black and a silver, so that is nice. We have the silver one here. So this frame lock is 7.08 inches overall with a 3.12 inch jimped Nitro V blade, flat grind, plain edge, stone wash finish, and it comes to 58.60 on the HRC scale. All on the silver version. Yeah. But the black, of course, is all black stone washed from the blade to the skeletonized handle. Blade on the Perf operates on caged ceramic ball bearings deployed with a, you guessed nice. it my friends, jimped flipper. Lastly, this knife has a tip-up right pocket clip. It also comes with a cleaning cloth, pouch, and guess what people, the sticker. What? And it's just $68 at AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. That's great. Mm -hmm. LandKnife.com. Okay. Okay, you're up first. Oh, give it thank to you. us now. Thank you very much. Give it to us nice much. and easy now. All right. I like this one. All right. As well. Frame lock is good. It's a solid lockup. 
skeletonized handle has been done before by other companies, but this one's nice, you know. I kind of like it. It's not really uh, as thin as skeletonized as I would think, but, you know, I, I still like it. Simple, elegant Nitro Vs, very similar to like a, an AE Bell, AEBL steel. Not quite as wear resistant as uh, it is, the other one. It's probably, you could probably compare Nitro V to more like a 14C28N. Which, you know, I know it's a less more like a budget type of steel when you think of it. But it does maintain edge well and it's significantly tougher than other steels like M390 or LMAX. And then, of course, when given certain heat treatments. So the steel's not bad on this and it cuts nicely. Whew, on to UC. Well... Skeleton ice has been done before. Normally it is inexpensive budget, not even a, normally a flipper. Normally it's just a thumb stud you pull out. This case, I kind of like it also. I do like the pocket clip on this one. It seems to go with this knife very well. I think I would probably only like this color. I don't think I'd like the stone washed one as much. But, I would say it's a nice knife, good everyday carry. All right. How about you? Well, let's. I, I liked it. So, following the perf is the Wii Edelon. Mm. See, you want you want to take this one? Is I'll it let the you. name? Take it I where? I already did it for oh, you. Gosh, gosh, I don't know. Is that right? Yeah, I Who guess. Who knows? It's always right. a guess. I'll do it. Here we go. Go ahead. So, this knife has five variations to choose from, three of which have different blades. We have the dagger style here because I liked it the best, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's in blackout, uh, though there are also, what, gray G10? On the dagger one, yep. yeah. Overall, this liner lock is 6.59 inch overall with a 2.87 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade. Comes in at about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. It's got a flat grind, single sharpened edge on this model, mm -hmm. and a black stone wash finish. Handle is black G10 with stainless steel black liners. Pivot screws, tip up right carry pocket clip are all 6L Vore V titanium. It, the blade is 0.13 inch thick and is deployed with a jimped oh. top flipper and operates on cage ceramic ball bearings. Finally, this knife was designed by Justin Lundquist. He did a lot of stuff for Kaiser. Mm -hmm. And comes with pouch, cleaning cloth, and <gasps> a sticker. sticker. What? Can I get a what? Oh, wait, I took it out of this one. Somebody's taking it. Oh, look, like this kind of sticker. Okay. Wow. And it's just $195.50 for all versions except the carbon fiber one, which is Wow, one. you know what? From the land knife doctor. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Wow, that should be like a tattooed. All right, just a quick tip the other blade cut versions are drop point mm -hmm. and have a hollow grind and stone wash finish. Handle materials range from G10 to carbon fiber, whereas the this one only comes in. Black or gray G10 so, currently. Yeah, that could change. We know how this company works, buddy. Yeah, maybe. so lots of options. Elemental yes. number 39. <laughs> they have released some new ones. Um, I do like the dagger one, but what do you think of this knife, C? be honest with you? Yes. Well, we know how I feel, but I will say I actually like this one because for me, it's just like, it's like lighting a Zippo. Whoops. Like lighting. Nobody oh, saw that. Fail. There we go. I'm doing a little too hard, aren't I? You are. I think that's what it is. I'm trying to make sure that I get it. Mm -hmm. But I, I like, put that I much like this knife. It. It I do think that the... Um, the G10 Yeah. Is a little... How did you know where I was going with this? Because we talked about it beforehand. It's a nice design. It is. I feel like they could have done something to... I don't know what. Maybe mm. add some texturing, maybe? Are you saying that it doesn't feel $195 worthy? Mm, not really. I mean, the steel is right there. The steel is there. I just feel like they could have made it feel more like a, like a lux luxury leather, but you know it's pleather. But they're charging luxury leather price. It still, it looks nice, it feels nice, it's just not leather. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is kind of the same thing. I mean, it, it's another front flipper, which I'm not a huge fan of. I just don't like, I flipper stud all the so way. So you're a no-go on this one? I like the dagger style, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it reminds me of like the, their little Aust dagger. This is obviously bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm just not super in love with this one. It's all right, materials are nice. I, I like the dagger blade, okay? I love this part. Mm -hmm. I love that. I, I like the circle too. 
And you know, yeah, the, the pivot accent is kind of cool, and the Wii logo there is nice. I just, maybe a little bigger, like EOS Thresher, maybe. Yeah. That's a dagger, okay? I would agree. Uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, dependent on other people's preferences. Probably. Yeah. Okay, next blade. The Wii Esprit. But first... Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe on all things AK. Along with ringing that bell. All so we can keep the AK Blade Show, the reviews, and other content up and rolling. Wow. That wasn't even planned. Nope. And so we can keep bringing you AKers the giveaways. You know what I'm going to say next? Speaking of which. Speaking of which! It's time to announce... You know what I have to say? Speaking of which, we should flash a picture. Speaking of which. No. Put it away. We don't need to associate her with the giveaways. Come on. Giveaways must be happy time. It's time to announce the winner of the QSP Gannett on YouTube. The YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yes. How'd you know? Uh, it was just a wild hunch. Yeah. So. Ready? Yeah. Yep. So the winner of the QSP Gannett with 154 CM steel is K Duffy. Nice. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't look much like a K, but. Okay, okay. I'll give you that. No, go and ahead. over on AK's blog, the winner of the Wee Minax in Antique Bronze Titanium. Oh, Wee Minax. Yeah. Wow, I forgot that's what we were doing. Yeah, I bet you did. And is the magnifique Royce Hilton. Rolls Royce Ooh. Hilton. Ah. Beep, beep. Wow. All right. That's the end of an era. Yeah. Only to begin anew. That's right. So now on the YouTube, we're giving away the Joker Bushcraft. Whoop, whoop. We've done one of these before, haven't we? Yeah. All right. It is 8.75 inch no of mad pure bushcraft. outdoor fun. I like this one. Mm -hmm. No mad bushcraft. It is one of my favorite fixed blades, too. And over on AK's blog, answer the AK trivia question and you'll be entered to win the Fox Karambit. Made in Italy and 690 blade, sharp enough to shave a little meat off your kneecap. <laughs> with wave feature. Oh, with All wave right. feature. Especially the knee of your mother in law. Ah, oh, wow. Don't miss out. Make sure to enter miss those. those soon. Or now. We'll wait for you. We'll give you some time, yeah. You want to get out the old chessboard or uh, maybe a rousing game of charades? Oh, yeah, charades. Hold on a second. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. How about this? All right, you're folding over money. Okay. More money. Shop at landknife.com. Bingo. Wait a minute, I thought we were playing charades. <laughs> was that too cheesy of a joke? No, I think it was good. Oh, well, that's all that matters. Yeah. Isn't it? So, I think we gave them enough time. Yep. Let's there. hit the Wii Esprit. Aha! Uh -huh. So, it comes in two versions. Does it really? Yes. The 6L 4V Titanium yeah. and the Carbon Fiber. Aha, uh -huh, I agree. Yeah. So we've got the Titanium one here, because I'm kind of prejudiced against Carbon Fiber lately. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So it's 7.44 inch overall with a 3.25 inch blade. Mm -hmm. The blade is made of CPM 20CV steel. That's nice. With gray stone wash, flat grind, minimal jimping, and it's about 59 to 61 on the HR C scale. It's 0 0.13 inches thick and is deployed on caged ceramic ball bearings with the dual sided thumb studs. Or, as someone may have brought to my attention later, that this is a front flipper. I do not agree, but I guess you can use it yep, as one. She agrees now. So, each version has a gray titanium tip up right carry pocket clip. Of course, the handles are either all gray titanium like this one, or half titanium with the presentation side being black carbon fiber. Very nice. Yep. Even comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and... I'll let you do it this time. Go ahead. All you. I have a question. Nice. Do you know who designed this? Um, That would be an interesting question that I might... Because I, I thought that we had been talking about this earlier, but I guess we haven't. Uh, is it on the top? I thought it was. Yes, it's okay. Ray Laconico. Conico. Okay. Yes. I thought I saw something on top, but I thought it could I have been the name. I saw it when you were front flipping it. Name of the knife, so I just kind of got to cross past it. Always takes knife somewhere. All right, so I guess you want to. Uh, 
Your life has now been fulfilled with a sticker thing now. Yep. You have it has to. Been. Yep. And the start at only two hundred sixteen seventy five from AtlanticKnife.com. All right. All right. Let's rip it. Go ahead. Here we go. All right. Shall I let you? I'll show you. Yes. You, you know my thoughts. But hey, here's where I'm at. I'm just going to ignore that it's a front flipper. Are you? Okay. And it is just a nice titanium thumb stud flipper. That's what I was going to do. With a nice place to hold your fingers and hold the knife. Even has the little indentation there for my ring finger. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, on that note, I really like this knife. Well, we call this titanium color orange peel. A what? Orange peel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. I, oh, I bet you do. Do mm -hmm. you? Do you really? After having some orange juice and vodka, I can see it perfectly. Oh, after you're falling over and you're seeing 12 of your wives. Yeah. God, I wish it. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, I think it's a nice size. Thumb set opening is, is good. I like that better than the front flipper. Everyone already knows how I feel about front flippers. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more of a back flipper person. Other than that, I think it's high end, it's snazzy. I do like the color of the titanium, even though it's not orange peel. I don't, I don't get that at all. But I like it, and it feel, it feels nice. I don't, it doesn't have any texturing, but I kind of like that on this one. Mm -hmm. Titanium pocket clip's nice, and it fits the finish. It's the same as the handle. It's a nice, classy knife. Yeah, simple, classy. Those are the words I would use. Okay. All right. I actually thought you would use different words, but hey. Well, snazzy. Yeah, there it is. Too, okay. I said that one already. High end and snazzy. This leads us to our next knives. Now, we're just going to mention them real quickly because they're not new. Some of them kind of are. Kind of new. Some of them haven't been around for years. They're new to the lighting Here knife. they are. So, yeah. huge allotment of spider coats. Yep. Go. All right. So, we finally got in the paramilitary twos in digital camo. There we go. What? That's just one. There's also a black blade one, which yep. has been very popular this yep. time around. I don't, I don't know why, but it just is. Then we got the black paramilitary two. Yep. And the purpley blue one. Purpley blue. Right here. So they all got compression locks. You know my rule. Anytime you can play with a paramilitary two, you do it. Okay. It's like a, it's like a, you ever remember a Christmas club? Christmas club. That yeah, might people, have been before people, my time. People a long time ago used to put money in the bank weekly. And then the money oh, would yes, just give it back to you at the end of the year it. and say, yeah. here's your money. You're not capable of saving it on your own. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You should have a Christmas club just for paramilitary twos. Every year when a sprint run comes out, you should be able to pull money out your Christmas club. Bam. Oh, got my PM2 in blue. Paramilitary twos. You should have 50 of them. And you can get them either like CPM, S45VN. I think this one's like S10V. S10V. So, yeah. Yep. That and then, 45. hold on. We got more. We've also had... We got more? We had shamans. <laughs> but they're sold out. Yeah. Hold on, don't we have a... We might have one or two somewhere. No, actually, you know what? We don't have them anymore. Are you sure? Yep, they're gone. All right. So somebody put but them on But they're on website. order. They sold out, so... Yep. Go ahead. My turn now? Yes. Are you sure I get to talk? Yeah. All right. So we also have the exclusive pair of three in Earth Brown. Did we do it last week? Maybe you should two should get a room. All right? Pair yeah. of three this, pair of three that. Your kids probably first words were pair of three. All right. So we have those... I have to show it. Seal blow gasket. So pair three oh, yeah. exclusive. Earth brown. Woohoo! Manics uh, coming next Manixes week. Manixes are coming next week. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, the yellow jumbo you guys saw last week. Except now, we have the blackout to show you. Wow, Ooh, that is know. nice. Isn't it? I know. Let's give them a real quick. Oh man, I like the blackout. Do you? I like. I like them both. If I could afford both, I get both. Big fan. It's big, it's bold. They are excellent, nice for their price. Excellent blade shape material. All right. If there were other colors like Jewel Jade or Never Blue, have I'd be in heaven. Come It'd be on. sprint runs and. Yeah. I have to sum up the Our final blade does come in a few different options. <sighs> oh, you know what? That's good. Including blue, green, and flame. I don't know what we're waiting for then. Let's, let's do it. The new knife from. There it is. PMP Knives, The Revenge 2. And we have the flame version with us. Very nice. Here we go. So, there are five versions of this blade. Flame, mm -hmm. purple, blue, green, and satin gray. This beast of a knife is 8.86 inch overall with a 3.74 inch drop point blade made of Bowler M390 steel with jimping. This handle is titanium on this version. The flame anodized, of course. Mm -hmm. 0.52 inch thick with a plain edge, it's deployed with a jimped flipper yes. and comes in, in a bit, anywhere from 60 to 62 on the HRC scale. Lastly, this frame lock has a tip-up pocket clip 
a lanyard hole slash backspacer. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Also titanium. Comes with a, hold on, zippered case. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? No. Okay, good. Because I was about to say, I was like, it was so easy. I was messing with the zipper earlier. So, look at that. Look at that. All right. Let, let me have my zipper fine for am, a second. I am. Jeez, you're like, let's move on. Looks like a sunglasses case. Design was revised by Carla Maria Massa from the original Revenge, and it is only 260 From AtlanticKnife.com. Perfect for the collection. You can get any color. I think it's a brilliant ba blade for the big buck. Yeah. Quick yeah. background. PMP Go Knives ahead. is owned by Patrick Holenstein. They make high-quality knives Stein. for Stein. collectors, along with thinner, more practical knives for everyday use. Amen. These designers from Italy, Germany, Switzerland, where Patrick's from, USA, and China to create premium blades for all users. I told you I'd do it. Wow. You have like some type of Tourette's or tick or something. <laughs> nope. They did a supremely fantastic job with this knife. It's not only sturdy and big, but it fits it fits well in the hand. Mm -hmm. It's got everything I would be looking for in a knife. It's got good materials, the titanium M390, the anodized. I like the anodized one, but there's also a green one, a blue one, mm -hmm. which I would get those too. <laughs> Enough money. Um, flipper stud is great. Pocket clip, lanyard hole for multiple carry options. This looks like something I'd want to show off and it comes with a case and I think there's only like 250 produced right yeah but only yeah. and only 150 are flipper stud versions the mm -hmm. other are like other hundred are like manual opening I mean who doesn't want a limited edition that right there the 150 yeah that makes it to me worth it yeah because this one is what number 81 yep 81 of 150 so, I don't understand we'll get Jewel why to sign your box if you buy number 81. I don't know how many we have or what numbers, but we'll get you sign the box anyway. There it is. Oh, we're, I don't, what if they go, oh, I don't want that. That brings down the return, price. They return it back. Like, like, look, there's yeah, a signature Call you up this. and be like, look, there's some writing scribbled on this. Can I get 50 bucks off? <laughs> no, you cannot. Like, we'll get you Wendy. She'll take care of this. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I, wouldn't know this I love this knife. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Kaisers before they started going little teeny in their big box, their big black box days. I like them a lot. It actually reminds me of ones almost specifically nice. had the same type of anodization. I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. I need to win the lottery, okay? Or have more yeah, than two it kidneys. It does suck a little bit this week because you would need a lot. I mean, what? Maybe a thousand? No. Well, I mean, there's a couple I could do without, but I mean, I can use 800 bucks easily. It's just, it's just not fair. No, we only got knives need to grow on trees. Here. Ooh, tree knife. Since tree brand. That was our final piece on the table. Was it? Yeah. Make wow. sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell. So you're not only notified when we drop new content. Would you like that? Yes. Yeah. But so you can be entered in our giveaways on the YouTube. We're now giving away the Joker Bushcraft. Have no mad. What? That's nice. I know. I like mm -hmm. this one. I like them all. I had a good time this week. I did. I did too. Not that I don't always that was have a every, good time. Every but, week. Yeah, we're going to make sure we get it. All right, make sure to answer the AK trivia questions well, and you'll be entered to win the Fox Karamba. Remember, answer like the guy above you. Check us out on social media sites as well, like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, and Instagram. And Rumble. I like a good Rumble, don't you? <laughs> the Sharks and Jets have nothing on us. Yeah. So look up AK on. For all those pictures, videos, giveaways, daily deals. I know. If we could just get Joel to post a daily deal every day, it would be awesome. Like every AK week, I'm C, and this is... Joel. And just Joel. And we are... Signing off.